This is a cave and a theme park. In today's video, we are going to the underworld, the darkest creation of the mini park contest thus far, and it is looking very grim. So stay tuned and we'll get right on into it. Hey yo, my planet coaster friends, Johnny Five Alive here, and welcome back to another episode of Park Spotlight Contest Edition. Today we're looking at the Underworld, created by Iron Knuckles, one of our Discord builders. And here they say, "Hey Johnny, longtime viewer, first time per." Participator, the underworld is my very first complete project in Planet Coaster. I think it's a bit more than I could chew off with this one. 60 by 60 is a bit much area to fill while creating solo, but I'm a proud of my park and I hope you guys enjoy it too. This park takes you through many areas of the underworld, a vampire lair, a well where souls mourn for eternity, the fiery depths of hell, and dungeons where you wait to be executed. You can even enjoy dinner and a show at Hades Coliseum. The Channel 5 gaming community inspires me where they're breathtaking creations, and I can only hope that I can provide some entertainment back with the underworld. Okay, very fun introduction indeed. A very dark creation, quite literally. So, why don't we get right on into it? Okay, ladies and gentlemen, here we are at the underworld. In we go. You actually start outside. In the giant cave of the underbelly is here. It's funny because we go up in elevation to go into the underworld. So I guess this is Hades Coliseum right out of the get-go. A quick talk about Reshade. Uh, a few tweaks here because it's such a dark park. As you can see, very dark. Uh, the I, I lightened it up a little bit with some of the haze effects while still keeping it dark and uh, toned down some of the bright lights. That's basically all we've done here. Just try to enhance the cave features as well as uh, keep it grim while lightening it up a little bit. So this is where we catch some food. Dinner and a movie. Oh my gosh. Look at that thing. <laughs> oh, they have fun names. Gruesome gelato. Deadly daiquiris. Chaotic crust. <laughs> That's fun. Demonic dogs. Disturbing drink. Malicious mellow. Jeez, don't eat those marshmallows. All right, well, that's a coliseum. Jeez. Three pathways. Choose your fate. I'm going right. Where are we going? Underneath the coliseum. Restock on cash. Hit some bathrooms. What do we have here? Blood smoothies. Perfect. I guess we're headed towards the, the vampire area. Oh, never mind. That just brings us back up. All right. We're going right this time. <laughs> Again. All right. That's an exit. Maybe we should go up it. Well of souls. Look at this. Wow. I got a shot of this in the cinematics of the uh, skeletons in the well. I thought that was pretty cool. That's a dive coaster. Like a good dive coaster. It's funny because last year in the mini park contest, I was searching for a dive coaster with had a bigger drop than I think 20 meters. There wasn't a single dive coaster that didn't go beyond 20 meters in drop. Uh, they were all very short dives. Not much of a dive there. Okay, here's a look at the stats, everybody, for the Well of Souls. What is our biggest drop? 55 meters, I'll take it.
fight very cool let's talk about it i like the fun little uh, well of souls drop that you had with the triple drop at the top if anyone's wondering these are actually just coasters at the top i could tell because i could hear the little crash sound effect where uh i knew it was not a complete coaster so the coaster actually just starts and ends like that it's actually not is it synchronized are they waiting is it the same every time? Now, this had me thinking, <clears throat> what would really impress me is if anyone could do this, find a way to Mobius launch. We've actually never seen this. Mobius launch dive coasters, where you have a synchronized drop. So basically the coaster would go around and then on its next kind of lap through, it would drop this way and the the next stage the next car would be coming out and it would be dropping with it and then it would go around and it would now drop on this one and the first and second and they basically rotate and shuffle but still always maintain synchronicity to a point where you would get four drops on a coaster or even just two or three that would be really cool to see a synchronized drop coaster on a mobius style that has never ever been done so if you guys are up for the challenge the idea is inspired by iron knuckles underworld with this here nonetheless a fun idea having all the souls crashing into the well uh, having the white dummies like that is kind of cool too because it uh, represents the white spirits the ghosts kind of fun yeah i like it that was a good way to kick off the uh, park here let's see where this crazy underworld leads us to next that would be uh, an entrance how did i do this okay i'm hoping my new keyboard is more quiet i had a squeaky key for the first handful of videos and uh, this, the keys feel a lot more crisp on this one, but at the same time, while I'm typing like crazy, they may feel a little bit louder. I made sure not to get those like clicky mechanical keys, but instead um, more soft keys. But if you're really going ham on the keyboard, they, they can they can be loud, but not, not as crazy as those hard, hard mechanical keys. So uh, it's uh, always tricky to get the sound right where you don't hear the keyboard in the back. I tried to use a limiter on that to mask it out. But anyways, hopefully it's fine. All right. Bloodlust. This must be the Vampire Cathedral. That is a lot of candles. Oh, very ominous. Nice views. And up we go. Hello, winged launch coaster. A little falcon here. Black falcon winged coaster. Green across the board. 43 meters, the biggest drop. 65 miles per hour. Very good. Some inversions, airtime, all that good stuff. I think we'll sit in the wing seat. Wow, your job was to uh, give back and provide some entertainment with your creation, and you're definitely accomplishing that here today. This is quite a crazy creation. I'm um, enjoying this, these coasters. That I like that one the most so far, although I like the inspiration that was derived from the drop coaster there, the dive coaster, sorry. Um, and then it looks like, I think there's one more main coaster back here. We'll go down to the bottom and see if there's any flat rides or anything. It's definitely an exit to something. There's the entrance, Baptism by Fire. We'll go on that in a second. I want to save uh, another coaster for last. I want to see what these flat rides are all about. A bit of a crazy queue here. Lots of cages. 
Whoa, this looks dangerous. Oh my god. And then this thing just kind of uh, swings back and forth while slicing everybody in pieces. Jeez. Does it actually... Oh my god, that's close. I was wondering if it actually... Oh, wow. Did you time that in a way where they all miss? How? Oh, wow. Oh! I think we might have gotten sliced in half. <laughs> no way. Is it dodging all of them? What? Nope, you're dead. Alright, it's just randomized. Nonetheless, it seemed really impressive until people started dying, but I guess that's the point, since it's the Executioner. Like the uh, swords there on the X, very creative, very clever. Wow. Okay. Okay, okay. Let's, uh, let's do the baptism by fire, I guess, and, uh, head into some lava. Oh my gosh. I'm assuming there's gonna be a lot of lava, and it is a river rapids on top of lava. I'm gonna turn the ambient occlusion off. This will help uh, make the lava not be see-through. And any ride preferences on this guy? Doesn't look like it. I'm gonna just try a track view, I think. All right, I think track view should work okay.
Wow, that was quite insane. What are the stats on this thing? We uh, got to see some of these results. 50, uh, 42 miles per hour. Biggest drop is only 20 meters. I thought it was a lot more than that. My goodness. Wow. Is there anything else hidden in this crazy underworld? We had one flat ride, three main attractions. I think three main attractions was the requirement with this park or this contest, I should say. All right, took a quick look at the ride list. That is all of them. Ladies and gentlemen, that was the underworld created by Iron Knuckles, their very first ever submission. And quite an interesting one at that. What did you think? Fire away in the comments down below. And that is going to do it for me in today's episode. Thank you all so much for watching. I hope you have a wonderful day. And I'll see you in the next submission. Bye now.